I hope you're all doing great. Thank you for joining me for this video where I will introduce you to the most famous equation of mathematics and give you the reason or the reasons why it is so. Everything is coming here or stemming from the Euler's formula which you have before you. This name here, the Swiss mathematician's name is pronounced as Euler. We are looking here at a complex number representation R times cosine theta plus I sine theta is equal to R times E to the power of I theta. When you equal the left hand with the right hand, you have this representation. You can flip it around. There's no problem in doing that. The R's can cancel out. E to the power of I theta is equal to cosine theta plus I sine theta, where the value of theta is represented in terms of radians. If theta were to be represented in terms of the pi, then you're looking here at E to the I pi, or you can say E to the pi I is equal to, and you feed the value of pi into your theta cosine pi plus i sine of that pi. Then you have e to the pi i is equal to cosine of pi is a minus one, but sine of pi is a zero, it hits with the i and you get a zero. If you push the minus one onto the other side, your left hand side, you have e to the pi i plus one equals zero, and you end up arriving at that very famous equation. It is a very famous equation because you're seeing the very five important constants of mathematics, zero, one, e pi i. But more than that, you have so many different number types represented here. You have complex numbers represented here, and you can think about complex numbers, anything which looks like a plus b i. You have a complex number here, which is your pi i. You also have your imaginary number here, and that imaginary number here is just your i. As you can see, you got your real numbers over here. Anything which is not complex or imaginary is your real number. Your real numbers are rational and irrational. And you're seeing here e pi 1 and you're seeing 0. You got natural numbers and the natural number here is 1. You have integers over here and you're seeing a 1 and a 0. You have whole numbers over here and you can see that to be 1 and 0. In addition to that you have irrational numbers here e and pi. But then you also have rational numbers over here which are 0 and 1. You see all of these different types which are represented complex numbers imagining numbers, real numbers, irrational numbers, natural, rational numbers, integers and whole numbers. All of these add to the increasing variety of number types you see in this one single equation. And that's the end of this video. Remember this equation, you will see it. It's all coming here from the Euler's formula and the application of this pi into the theta of that formula. Thank you for watching.